All right, so this is question number two from the January um, 2020 um, pass paper. 2A, I, 2A says factorize the following expressions completely. And I says we're factorizing 5H squared minus 12HG. Now, the first step in, in once someone says factorize, the first thing you should do is to see if there is a common factor. Um, there are two terms in this expression. And the letter that is common to both is H. So I'm going to put um, H outside the bracket. Sorry. I'm going to put H outside the bracket. Then I'm going to divide all the terms by H. H into 5H square is 5H minus H into 12HG is 12G. All right, I don't think that can that this can be factorized any further. So this is the answer. The next thing I ask to factorize is a quadratic expression. All right, using the ABC method, I, the first thing I would do is I would find AC. AC is two multiplied by minus six, which is minus 12. Now to factorize the quadratic expression, I'm going to split the middle term and then factorize by grouping. To split the middle term, I need to find two numbers. When I multiply the two numbers together, I get negative 12. But when I add the same two numbers together, I get B, which is minus 1. The two numbers are minus 4 and positive 3. So I'm going to use those two numbers to split the middle term. So next, I'm going to factorize by grouping. Looking at the first two terms, the HCF is 2x. Sir, x square is is x. 2x into 4x is 2. Right back to um, the HCF to the right is 3. 3 into 3x is x. All right. No. This is my arrow. This shouldn't be 12 here, it should be six. Three, x, three into three X is X, and three into six is two. Now come on to both sides, it's X minus two. So I'm gonna put X minus two here. And in the next bracket, I'm gonna have two X plus three. All right, let's turn the page. All right, next in B, we're asked to solve the equation. Now, um, let's follow these four simple four steps. If brackets are present, I would remove the brackets by applying distributive law. That's step one. So R plus three would be equal to three times R is three R, and three times five is 15. So step one in solving a simple equation is, if brackets are present, I would remove the brackets by applying distributive law. Step two, um, I'm gonna group all R's on one side and all numbers on the other side. So I have three plus 15, positive 15 goes over, sorry, negative 15 goes over and become positive. To the right, I have 3R minus R. Positive R goes over to the right and become negative. So therefore, what I have is 2R is equal to 18. Next step, I'm going to divide both sides by 2. And I'm going to get R is equal to 9. So in this equation, R is equal to 9. At the bottom, I'm asked to make um, K the subject of the formula. Now, if K is the subject of the formula, it must be by itself on one side. Its power has to be positive one and its coefficient has to be positive one. So let's go about isolating K. Positive three, th um, 
three T is going to go over and become negative. So I have two A minus three T is equal to pi K square. Next, I'm going to divide both sides by pi. So as to leave K square alone to the right. So we have K square would be equal to 2A minus 3T divided by pi. The opposite of square is square root. Or if you want, you could say we're going to find the square root of both sides. So K would be equal to the square root of 2a minus 3t divided by pi. All right, let's keep going. We're not finished yet. Now, the B part of the question, which is the last part of the question, says a farmer plants two crops, potatoes and corn, um, on a 10 hectare piece of land. The number of hectare of um of um corn planted C must be at least twice um the number of hectares of potatoes P. We're to write two inequality to represent the scenario above. All right, first thing, um the term at least. is an inequality term and it means greater than or equal to. The term at least is an inequality term and it means greater than or equal to. So my first um, inequality is C, the number of hectares of corn must be at least, so that is greater than or equal to um, twice the number of hectares of potatoes, which is P. So it says 2P. So C, the number of hectares of um, corn must be greater than or equal to 2P, which is the number of hectares of potato. This is equal inequality number one. The second inequality is this. The number of hectares of um, corn planted plus the number of hectares of potato must be less than or equal to 10. So C plus P must be less than or equal to 10. This is inequality number two. The farmer has a total of 10, year, 10 hectares of land to plant. You could either plant all of the 10 hectares or less than the 10 hectares. So the number of hectares of corn plus the number of hectares of potato must be less than or equal to 10. And that would be the second inequality.